And also in White House news, the White House had to put out the word to expect bad news in this morning's unemployment report. What it got was actually the opposite, a snapshot of the economy that shows greater strength than expected, even during the height of the Omicron surge. Skylar Henry has this story. Highly trained. President Biden dropped by Iron Workers Local 5 in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, where he signed an executive order aimed at strengthening union construction jobs. There you go. The labor market was in the spotlight after the latest unemployment report showed even with the pandemic surging, the economy gained 467,000 jobs in January, much higher than expected. The unemployment rate ticked up to 4% as more people piled into the workforce. Our country is taking everything that COVID has a throw at us, and we've come back stronger. That means more opportunity for job hunters. If you are in a situation where you feel like you're stuck at work, this is a fantastic time to look. The White House had been bracing for bad news on the labor market. Instead, President Biden called the report extraordinary, including the upward revisions for previous months. We learned that job growth in November and December over last year was revised up by more than 700,000 jobs. Some economists describe the current labor market as the great reshuffling with many workers trading their jobs for better ones. Places like this emergency dispatch center, however, are still desperately shorthanded. Currently, there are 25 total position vacancies in the department. 21 of those are frontline dispatchers. Even with the positive economic news, President Biden says there's still work to be done, creating higher paying jobs and controlling inflation to ease the burden on working families. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. Another cooler than